Hello everyone. Um, in, in thinking about what I wanted to say today, the major thing I would want to point out, because this is a very grave matter, and I, I don't know how to, to convey to you the uh, the urgency of understanding what we're up against as far as the cult of personality, I'll call it. Um, whether it's in the United States, Israel, the Middle East, um, Russia, um, the majority of these people that are in, in top level positions that are visible, <laughs> just the visible ones I'm going to discuss for the moment, they, they are really deranged individuals to the core. They're, they're, they're mentally ill. They're mentally deficient, you know, mostly psychopathic. I'll talk about uh, Net Benjamin Netanyahu for a second. He's like that already. He wants to unleash something on Iran because of his convoluted thought processes and his uh, whether he has actually bought his own lies or not, um, cannot allow Iran to have even one nuclear weapon when Israel itself has an arsenal that can probably, from what I understand, when launching in different directions with the different missiles they have, they can uh, almost go global. Even if they can't go global, I mean, they've got they've got, you know, this potential to, to wipe out the Middle East and beyond. And you've got, you know, <coughs> I can't understand, and I'm sure that you, you know, you think that it's beyond the pale and that I'm, I'm the whack job, you know, not, not these other guys, but, you know, that people, there's people that want Armageddon. I mean, if you take a look at, at, at Egypt right now, it is so very sad. And what's happening in Syria? There was a there was a video of a nine and a twelve year old, I believe, were their ages, with the 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 mask, you know, um, anti Assad uh, rebel, which were funny, by the way. <laughs> that segment of of what do they call it? It's Al Qaeda. It is Al Qaeda. We're actually fund Al Qaeda. We made up Al Qaeda in the CIA. But um, whatever the, the other organization is, this 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 guy standing behind this nine and twelve year old. They're on their knees with blindfolds, and the you know he's reading off this piece of paper, and the last words you hear is Allah Akbar. He walks away, and these two little boys just get gunned down in cold blood because they supported their president who is hiding out I think still on an aircraft carrier somewhere in the in the Mediterranean because he's you know trying to stay alive he, he knows that they're ready, ready to um, take him the way of Gaddafi it, it, you know no trial, no jury, you know, I mean, Saddam Hussein, I guess, was the last Middle East leader that, that had the, the, the media circus on his so-called trial. I mean, um, we, we gave him the, the weapons of mass destruction that, you know, uh, George W. went in search of, and of course, th they weren't there. They knew exactly where any stockpiles were. Back in the 80s, you know, Donald Rumsfeld you know, is shaking the hand of Saddam, you know, in, in their arms deal. It's just, it's just such twisted shit. But anyway, um, Benjamin, getting back to Ben, good old nut, nut, nut who, you know, um, he's, he's, you know, ready to pull the hair trigger and, and, and wants to tango. And, it, you know, he doesn't matter how many of his own people have died in Israel. I mean, they're being fluoridated also. In fact, there is, there's now an article, look for it yourself, it's in the AP um, or it's Reuters or it's some news organization that's talking about how 
you know, uh, Israel's no longer going to fluoridate their water because of the health consequences. You know, being brain, you know, um, degeneration and cancer, you know, that, that it causes. I, it's like, hello, you know, um, and, but he's, he's just ready, you know, he's, he's decimated, you know, the, the, the uh, Gaza Strip and, you know, there's all the settlements that are sti still being built and the Palestinians are still fleeing and, you know, getting their, their, their homes mowed down by bulldozers, you know, what the hell, it's just, you know, it's just their, 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 their place where they live, you know, but uh, this, this insane individual is ready to just take Israel, uh, excuse me, Iran on, and, you know, that, the consequences of that, Russia and, and, and um, China are already arming themselves to the teeth as far as like warships and, and tanks and, and, and men uh, and other means of arsenal um, because they've already said, you know, you, if you go into Syria, you're crossing the line. And, and of course, you know, Israel bombed a, 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 a Russian arsenal inside of, of Syria and, you know, what I'm saying, he's one of the ones that is asking for it. And what it is, is like this major distraction also um, of what's happening to the U.S. dollar. Um, and their, their desperate attempt also just, just, just to keep, you know, the oil pegged to the dollar because that's, that's the only thing that's backing it right now, you know, along with Saudi Arabia. And those agreements that were made um, that that have have keep any viability of the U.S. dollar, while you know China is is uh, you know trading in other currencies and gold. It's in other words, it's like really really dangerous for you know the cannon fodder meeting you and me. Um, and I'll go back to this this singular point in history that you people, young and old, rich and poor, stupid and intellectual need to understand because it's the truth that there were rogue elements inside of our government and the Israeli government in Saudi Arabia that set up and executed 9-11. It was not, you know, 19 Arabs with box cutters. It was an orchestrated effort. There was a stand down with NORAD. There were there were exercises being done that day, and people were confused as to whether it was it was you know live or if it was you know just part of an exercise. That's you know why a, a lot of the events unfolded the way they did so horrifically. And you've got to understand that there was a lot of firefighters. There were a lot of employees. There were a lot of police officers that were uh, in one way or another killed, you know, murdered, I mean, I mean murdered, you know, um, to keep them silent. <coughs> and then you just have the, you know, uh, the men and women that over a, a period of time because of all the asbestos and other chemicals in the air when um, they, they were told it was safe to go back to work like three days after the disaster occurred and there was still this dust all over New York that they um, they walked in and they basically signed their own death sentence and breathing. Um, Donna Summers, which was uh, that musician that, um, I want to call her a musician, uh, she, she sang uh, a lot of songs in the 80s uh, she said herself that she died as a direct result of the, the air that she breathed directly after 9-11. But getting back to the point, it's the fact that people just accepted the fact at face value that there, there, was, there needed to be, there still needs to be an independent investigation of what happened on, on that, event, that eventful day because it changed the scope of America as we know it. And our rights have been, they started getting eroded. And, you know, the only reason why a lot of you cannot recognize the extent of which are, are you know, you've been violated is because you haven't had the wrap on your door yet. Or you think it's perfectly acceptable to go through um, uh, TSA checkpoints and submit. 
you know, I mean, directly after, I mean, I, the, the, you know, 9-11 occurred, I was one that, um, you know, you get, you get your bags, you know, searched through. I, I, I kind of understood that because it was just, it was so immediate after. Nobody trusted anyone. But it's like, you know, I, when, when, once you understand, like I do, that it, it is, the terrorists are not running around like, like Keystone Cops or, or you know, just uh, uh, gremlins, you know. Um, you understand that the real perpetrators of, of the terror are the very ones that instigated it because they're the ones that have everything to gain. You know, these, these fucked up maniacs love to control other people. And you know, and you know the visible ones that I mentioned that are off the rocker, and you know, crazy and 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 psychopathic, control freaks. They're not even the, the, at the top of the food chain. But you, you know, the real control freaks, the, the ones that, you know, when I say we're cannon fodder, these people, the the at the top of the pyramid of the Illuminati. The real, uh, you know, um, Luciferian satanic bastards that, that you know, uh, think they're above the law. That, that issue our currency and, and just see us as like ants on their ant farm. They're the ones that really need to be taught a lesson. But, you know, if, if, if humanity just is passively, you know, Either they, they know something is wrong, they go, you know, oh, I can still get my, you know, my Starbucks and, 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 and my uh, latte and my, um, you know, my steak dinner at, at, at Outback. And, you know, I can still go shopping and get Gucci shoes. You know, if they, if they can do this stuff, but they, they, they don't give a crap about, about what's happening to other people. You know, the ones that are living in tents already. The, the ones that are you know, the, 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 million, the millions of children it's like, it's like two million in the United States now that, that don't have enough to eat and you know, it's like Atlas shrugged you know there's, so, there's nothing that can be done and the world has always been like this you must accept it for your own peace of mind I'm not a sociopath I'm not a psychopath. In fact, the older I get, the more empathy I'm feeling. And, you know, do I really want to? I'm a human being. And it's like, you know, I can't help but see the suffering. And I suffer too in my own personal life. And then watching what happens around me. And, and it's, you know, because it's the fact that it's unnecessary, it's immoral, and it's satanic, and it's evil, that I can't, can't accept it. And, if, and when people can, I find it mentally ill. Very, very sickening, too. So... <clears throat> Getting back to what hap was happening current day, it's, it's, it's um, the fact that in case you don't know what's happening in the Middle East and what's being unleashed, we're, we're on a, a, a hairline uh, regarding the, 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 the type of, of war that, can, that is, you know, can happen because the war is open. And in fact, there's a buildup in the United States as far as like, I mean, I've, I've discussed the rogue type of cops that are out there and what I consider what, what is policy because the behavior of cops right now, when, um, when I was thinking about earlier is this, uh, I think it was in California, there was a, a young man in a crowd who had not paid a $2 boarding pass for a bus and he fled the scene and he was shot in the back and he was, he was killed by a police officer. Personally, in case you think that, that, that the cop was justified in shooting and killing this young man, 
if cops don't start being held being held accountable for their uh, over the top, very uh, antisocial, very uh, dangerous actions. If we accept this as being, oh, well, you know, the guy was fleeing the scene, and, and you, you, what would you expect? You, you have to get shot and, and killed. I mean, if this is the way people think now, I don't understand where I am anymore. I mean, you have to see that there's something seriously wrong. I mean, they even have tasers if they want, they want to electrocute the guy. You know, maybe maybe not to death. I mean, it, it's getting more and more prevalent that people are dying from taser attacks. But even he could, the, the cops should have let him go. He could have gotten on a radio saying, "Look, this guy is headed towards, you know, the 16th block of blah 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 Avenue. You know, see if you can intercept him, or just let the fucker go." I mean, you know, what? It's two dollars, and he took his life. So, the, it's a little inequality there. The cop should have been tried. He should have been put in jail and he should have been tried because it's exactly what would happened to us. You know, there are people, it, it's a very good possibility that because it's happening more and more in people's own homes that if, if, if uh, they have an intruder and they try and stab or shoot them, that the owner of the house will get in trouble. And, and thank, thankfully, that's just a slow creep because, you know, there are castle laws. It makes sense that you have guns to, to, to you know, um, protect yourself in your own home. But, you know, <coughs> the, the world is getting turned up upside down. And I think that's part of the reason why people are going into a further stupor. I think that's a symptom, is the fact that logic is just getting turned on its head. And when you can't make heads or tail, when you, you when you don't know right from wrong anymore, or you're being told that something completely illogical is what the truth is, or what you know is 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 you know um, in the mainstream you know of good or the logical choice, I mean, then you get a little confused. But cops should not be allowed to shoot people over minor infractions. People are getting murdered. So, I think people need to take a really hard look at our leaders and understand just how screwed up these people are. And maybe that's why people are inactive, because, you know, fear, fear is the most palpable force, besides love, that is out there. And people are just cowering more and more in their little corners. And yeah, someone like me, uh, if there's going to be like this uh, roundup of people in the United States, if, if the shit really hits the fan here, I'm only going to be the first um, uh, round per part of the roundup. And, and what people pe people think that they're safe. That's that that's really what gets to me. Is <laughs> No one is going to survive this. So, it's just going to come in waves. And, you know, you're, you're, you're going to be, you're going to act like uh, you don't know how it would have happened when a guy with a machine gun comes to your car and tells you to get out of your own vehicle, you know, and you, and you comply and your hands up are in the air and, you know, he's got, you know, they, they've got their fingers up your daughter's bum and, you know, you're just... Uh, well, I gotta do it, gotta stay safe. You know. Well, it's all unfolding, and and it could be months, it could be years, but you know that's why I go back to the Middle East. What's happening right now? What what is being unleashed is um, you know you look go look at the amount of, of of tanks and warships and missiles and attacks that are happening. You know. Syria and Egypt are becoming becoming tinder boxes, and uh, yeah, it's significant to us because you know of of the oil that is there, and 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 gets uh, exported to us. The fact that the the dollar is, you know, um, tied to oil. It, you know, it's the only reason why it's the, still the reserve currency. 
and if that ends, I then you will see Satan just directing the party. So, I mean, I guess what I'm trying to recommend is everybody get really active in in one area or another. You've got to stop being so afraid. You got to stop. The fear is just it's just an emotion, but you can't let it control you because you're dead, if, you know, anyway, otherwise. You know, it's how you want to choose to live, you know, you know you're going to die knowing that you have betrayed humanity and that you, you did nothing in, in, in the most pivotal point in your own uh, segment of history. Are you, are you, are you going to stand up? Or are you going to cower in the corner and think that everything is is, uh, is 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 okay just as long as you you know couch out to the system? There's an, a quote by an unknown person saying, "No man escapes when freedom fails. The best men rot in filthy jails, and those who cried a piece of peace were hung by those they tried to please." That's the sum of it. So, you know, you want to go to heaven? If there's a heaven? Or do you want to go to hell? If there's a hell. Because we're talking about eternity there. But what I'm talking about right now is standing up when you need to for your children and your grandchildren and their children and their children. Because if we go into real bondage right now, I'm talking about a feudal system because that's what the globalists want. If we go into this, glo this, this globalist feudal system, there's no coming out of this time in, in the cycle of, of, you know, what enlightenment could be. And that's why I fight for Glass-Steagall. If you just investigate that, it's so important. But you're either going to stand up or you're not. And anyone you try to please in a satanic system is just going to laugh at you and kill you.